Hello, thank you for watching this talk about particle atomic layer deposition. In this talk, I will present some work about modification of lithium and battery cathode car particles using atomic layer deposition. During this talk, I will first briefly introduce lithium and battery cathode, including its importance, the problems that need to be solved for practical applications and the methods that we are using to address these problems. Then two works that has been done in our group will be presented, which were using atomic layer deposition for conformal surface doping. In the spotlight about electric grid and energy storage in the future, updated by DOE in 2019, the lithium and battery was considered as an important part to fulfill the future electric grid with high accessibility, high flexibility, and high resilience. Its attractive energy storage ability and the low emission of carbon dioxide made it acquire attention and investment soon. With the advancement of lithium-ion battery technology, its pack price drops to one as compared with the price 10 years ago. And in the next decade, its market size is predicted to grow by four times. In this scenario, the development of lithium-ion battery cathodes play an important role. One reason is the cost of cathode is higher than most parts during manufacture of lithium-ion battery. And the other reason is the cathode is considered as one of the limiting factors that determine the performance of lithium-ion battery. The development of cathode is calling for high energy and high voltage. However, there are some problems that restrict the performance of cathode. One is the internal resistances, including intrinsic electronic and ionic resistances. The interfacial resistance between cathode and the electrolyte, and green boundary resistance between primary particles in the cathode. There will be energy loss during cycling of lithium and battery due to these resistances. And the cracking of the particles will aggravate the resistant growth during high current loading and long time cycling, which is due to repeating expansion and shrinkage of lattice structure during lithium interpolation and deinterpolation, and also formation and growth of impurity phase. On the surface of the cathode, direct contact between cathode and electrolyte will cause oxidation and the decomposition of electrolyte and gas release. The transition metal oxide, transition metal dissolution from cathode surface to electrolyte will aggravate these peractic reactions. During the initial fuel cycles, an important solid permeable interface layer, which we call it SPI layer, will form on the interface between cathode and electrolyte. And this SPI layer can prevent direct contact between cathode and electrolyte. However, if the SPI layer is not stable, its repeating decomposition and the growth will consume electrolyte species and increase interfacial resistance in the lithium-ion battery. To address this problem of surface and structure, a surface modification was performed using a surface doping method. On one hand, by this method, surface stability of the cathode will be improved, such as stabilizing SPI layer and reducing interfacial resistance. And on the other hand, the doping is aiming to suppress formation of impurity phase and thus reduce intrinsic and the green boundary resistances. Furthermore, a conformal doping is our goal by using conformal coating, but not nanoparticles. Atomic layer deposition is the approach we used to grow conformal coating. And its precise control of coating thickness enable us to control the amount of dopant cations. 
these advantages of LD derived from a self-limiting reaction and uh, alternatively those of precursors. For example, in this figure, the alumina LD applies trimethyl aluminum that only reacted with the hydroxide group during LD and leave the surface covered with methane group. Then the second precursor water will react with the methane group and leave the surface covered by hydroxide group again for those of trimethyl aluminum in the next cycle. The flush is crucial for LD, which can remove unreacted precursors and side products methane to get rid of the uncontrollable chemical vapor deposition during LD. In this manner, the conformal coating will be grown layer by layer on the surface of the substrate. Using LD, we deposit iron oxide on a lithium-rich layered cathode and performed post-annealing to achieve a conformal iron surface doping. This process forms an iron-doped spinal phase on the particle surface and significantly improves the cyclic stability of this cathode even at 55 degrees C. On the left hand, in the high-resolution TM image, we can observe different lattice D spacing at the interior B region and the surface C region. The corresponding fast Fourier transform pattern show that in the interior B region, the structure remains original layered structure of this cathode particle. But on the surface of the C region, <coughs> the structure of the spinal phase was observed due to iron surface doping. On the right hand, the XPS spectra showed us that the intensity of iron reduced after annealing, which suggests decrease of iron amount at the cathode surface due to diffusion of iron into the cathode structure. And the use results from the C regions. A signal of iron L edge was observed, which directly proved the existence of iron in the seven nano meter deep from the particle surface, which however didn't go deeper since the yields at 15 nanometer didn't show us the FEL edge. Combining these results, we found an iron doped spinal phase was formed on the surface of this lithium rich layered cathode. Due to this iron doped spinal phase on the surface, the lithium diffusion coefficients during charge and discharge was improved. In many other works about doping of spinal cathode, iron has been shown to improve electronic conductivity, which can then benefit the lithium iron transport properties. Also, we summarize the differential capacity during 100 cycles of charge discharge at a 1C rate and a 55 degrees C. It can be observed the differential capacity, the DQDV figure showed us a transition of peak during cycling, which is due to structure transition of lithium rich layer cathode during cycling. And the two peaks were finally observed after 100 cycles, but for uncoated pristine one, in its DQDV, the differential capacity figure. We observe the transition of peak, but at the same time, we find the intensity of the peak decrease corresponding to loss of capacity, which can be observed for the voltage profile on the bottom right figure. This result suggests that stabilization of the structure of this lithium-rich layered cathode due to this iron dot spinal phase achieved by LD and the post annealing. In the second work we are presenting, we performed iron oxide LD on a high voltage lithium magnet nickel oxide, the LMNO spinal cathode particles, and form an initial iron surface doping in this cathode. 
Then we performed post annealing to recover the structure and investigate the doping mechanism during LV and the post annealing based on our results. On the left hand, from the SEM images, we found iron oxide LD didn't change the morphology of the element O. Well, after post annealing, it changed, which is related to a structure transition. And on the right hand, the yields showed us before post annealing, the as prepared element O after iron oxide LD, the FEAP. At the surface A region, has a higher intensity of iron than the interior B region, suggesting the iron was doped to element O but remained mainly at the surface. After post annealing in the bottom right figure, both A and B regions show reduction of iron intensity compared with the uh, FEAP. By normalizing these two magnets intensity, we can conclude the iron diffuse deeper toward the bulk structure of the element O. The reason was postulated by investigation of XRD and the comparison between this work and the other references. First, for the as prepared FEAP after iron oxide LD, we observed formation of secondary phase observed which is consistent with others' work that annealed the element O in vacuum. If we consider the vacuum during LD, this change of structure can be explained. During this change, element O will lose its lattice oxygen. The other case that element O can lose its lattice oxygen is during its it is heated above 700 degrees C in an ambient atmosphere. It is known that lattice oxygen loss will accompany with a structure transition from spinal phase to different phases for element O. And during this transition, the cation including lithium and the transition metal cations will move to different sites, but with cooling, the lattice oxygen will be recovered from air and the structure will return to spinal phase and the cations will return to its prefer preferable sites. During this transition, if we consider iron cation at the same time, we can understand the iron should also participate in this structure transition and therefore located in the structure of the element of bulk. In this way, the iron was doped into the element O during loss and the recovery of the lattice oxygen and the stru structure transition. The introduction of iron surface doping to element O significantly improved the lithium diffusion coefficients and the specific capacity at different current loading and the cycle, cycle life no matter at room temperature and 55 degrees C. These results were accomplished after we perform an optimization of annealing duration. According to our post-cycling test analysis, the merits of this modification is suppression of decomposition and the oxidation of electrolyte species and the stabilization of SPI layer. Recalling the surface issue of cathode, the interference of direct contact between cathode and electrolyte is crucial, especially for this high voltage cathode. The ca electrolyte will be easily oxidized due to the high potential on the cathode surface. So we observed a thicker SPI layer of modified sample, the FE704, then the uncoated element O, the UC, according to the MO, the metal oxide oxygen bond in the oxygen 1S core level, and the corresponding lower decomposition species from electrolyte 
including the metal fluoride, the MF bond, observed in fluoros 1S co-level, and the phosphorus fluoride observed in fluoros 2P co-level. In summary, we talked about the particle LD and its application to provide conformal coating in order to achieve conformal surface doping. This method is to pursue a conformal interface that form between cathode and electrolyte to benefit the stability and the enhancement of the lithium battery. We also present a mechanic mechanism about how doping occur during LD and hope this can help LD to develop its use in different fields. The two presented work has been published and here are the related publications. That's all for my talk and thank you for watching.